Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radka Tarot and this is going to be daily tarot reading for August 5th 2018 and before we jump into the daily reading the monthly readings are already out so if you haven't checked yet your uh, Sun Moon and uh, Sun Moon and Ascendant sign then uh, you know feel free to browse for them and <clears throat> you know be forewarned for what is to come in August. Now let's go to 5th of August and that will be a four card spread. The first card that uh, represents the topic of the day. This is going to be the seven of uh, wands. Then the second card represents the uh, negativity of the day or the negative approach we could take toward the topic. This is going to be the seven of swords. Then we have the third card which points the positivity or what we can make the most out of or it is also the positive approach toward the situation here which is the seven of wands and the last one represents the long term benefits in case we do keep these couple of conditions in check for the day. So uh, this is going to be uh, a, uh, mostly a, a usual day that we do have. So uh, for what it seems, we are going to have to face an opposition here with the Seven of Wands. As this card represents external opposition, it also represents internal one. As, as a matter of fact, in this follow-up with the uh, these couple of cards, it is most likely a, a internal opposition. What I mean here is that... Uh, I will try to explain it with a few examples. Uh, let's say that at this particular day you may um, you know, have to do what you don't want to do. You may have to deal with people that you don't want to deal with, etc, etc. So it's kind of like a, a internal opposition of that you have to attend into activity that uh, you have no pleasure for doing it. Or it also could be, as I said, an external opposition, like someone is uh, trying to, or like someone is messing up with your stuff and they don't mind their own business, but they're, they're interfering with your personal, infiltrating your personal space and uh, interfering with your activities. In either way, the negative approach toward the situation here is actually to make a stand for it. Now, um, this is going to be extremely unpleasant activity for what I can see here and making a stand for it. So in other words, uh, uh, you know, returning to the opposition with, uh, with a personal opposition here, standing your ground, you know, and uh, uh, basically try to lead a war or to lead a battle with these people ain't going to serve you much of a favor. Then, uh, yeah, you are going to prevail. Um, you know, ultimately, but uh, with these couple of cards, a lot of energy is going to be lost along the way, so you can have it your way, and at the end, you're going to see that your way could have been achieved in much more ease than, you know, kind of like bruising yourself upon the situation. And in case uh, internal uh, internal opposition here, the Seven of Swords takes the place where you will try to traverse the situation in such a way uh, that the situation can become more pleasant to you and ultimately you're going to realize that no way actually is found in order to do so and at the end uh, you will come up with a conclusion that actually you have wasted up a lot of time and a lot of energy you know to make it uh, more to make the unpleasant activity more pleasant while it cannot be made. I mean, one activity, it is just one activity and you either attend to it the way it is or you don't deal with it at all. And as a matter of fact, this is exactly what you need to do during this particular day now, instead of involving yourself with those kind of like a stressful event, like leading a, an argument with your boyfriend, wife, you know, or a husband or a girlfriend, um, instead of uh, like, a, a leading argument with your family in general or I don't know you you name it or going into uh, or attending into a um, a picnic if you don't want to go to picnic this kind of stuff so it's kind of like you will have to deal with that kind of an enterprise and activity that will aggravate you and it definitely gonna throw you off your domain and it's gonna throw you off your comfort zone so instead of, instead of doing that you don't have to feel obliged doing it here. As a matter of fact, the Ten of Cups points that that day should be entirely focused upon you uh, spending time in the most comfortable 
environment possible like with good friends like with good companions like if for example you want to uh, you like playing video games then spend the day playing video games you know if you like um, hanging out with friends then you need to spend the day hanging out with friends in general that day should be spent only with um, um, involved with enterprises that are really um, are giving you joy instead of uh, doing things that you know you supposedly have to you need to know that there is no such thing like you have to do a certain particular you know particular activity if it is not obeyed by the law so only the law can tell you what you have to do and this thing it doesn't like you know disrupt the law of the country you are uh, living at then you're not obliged to do it that is obvious but anyway the ten of cups here speaks for that to experience joy exactly as the joy is so you have to attend only to the things that gives you pleasure even those things does not give you any material benefits because the ten of cups it is not about the material benefits guys it is about the emotional fulfillment realizing um, and attending to the blessings in your life now instead of going as I said toward the negativity there and you know spend the day arguing spend the day in scandals spend the day into aggravating uh, actions and aggravating you know enterprises instead of doing that you can actually turn to your blessings and just you know incorporate them in their life and as you do that then you're going to see that if you are feeling if you are finding yourself into a despondent situation then your life um, either suddenly or slowly developing will start worth living again and then uh, if in case you keep these couple of conditions check or you spend the day exact uh, in the way that you know you feel pleasure from it then we have the Knights of Cups and that card speaks here that, um, how can I place it? Well, it was in my mind right now, but... <laughs> okay, so you're going to uh, realize, you know, that uh, if you don't contribute for your own happiness, first thing, no one else will. And also, it's going to kind of like uh, uh, expand wider, not expand, but wider, your life and your understanding and your perception as well you will be well what my point here is is that uh, as a follow-up of that day or the result of that day is that you are going to be able to make more uh, pleasant experiences for yourself for the future in a sense of that you will now be more prone you know to experience more joy in life than involving yourself into though into such kind of a situation where there is dramas, there are dilemmas, etc., uh, etc. Et so you will be more uh, prone to um, create happiness in your life, you know, than uh, creating upheaval and destruction. Because uh, some people cannot help it. I'm saying that some people cannot help it. And I will just give you an example. I will uh, I will end up with that example here. Uh, let's say that you find out that your partner in relationship lied to you about something. And you have two possible options. Some people just cannot help it, but just go there and storm the situation. You know, they, they uh, confront their partner. Uh, they provoke scandals. They provoke arguments. And at the end, you know, no one wins. And it is exactly what these cards are all about. Now, if you do that, there will be no one winning. Neither your partner is going to admit, neither you will be able to find closure here. So instead of doing that, you just, you will know that your partner is not trustworthy anymore, right? Uh, and uh, just don't mind that lie and, and go and spend time with those who are worthy for your attention. Because even if your partner, let's say, admit to uh, that they lied to you, the trust is jeopardized. I mean, you won't regain back that trust that you or, or that you once had before the lie was um, was covered, you know, and was discovered. It was discovered. Excuse me. So there is no no point really for you to provoke anything in that case. Obvious. The the obvious thing is that either you're going to forget about it or you're going to do something about it but with uh, um, with uh, a kind of like a, 
mm, possibility for uh, for unfoldment and scandals are not a possibility for unfoldment. You either uh, break it or you make it. So that being said, uh, this was your daily tarot reading for August 5th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, the monthly readings are already out. If you haven't watched them or if you didn't knew about them or didn't have the chance to watch them, uh, go there at my uh, YouTube channel and browse your sun, moon and ascendant sign to be forewarned for months of August. If you want a, a personal reading with me, uh, everything will be listed down there in the description below the video, <clears throat> my website and in there you can find the list of the services and the price as well so that being said guys see you next time until then bye